Hi guys, it's France and this is week 89 of the Journal on Monday series in which I will be playing with a lot of Dilutions Inc. like you voted for on the poll on my blog. I'm using watercolor paper on which I'm first spraying water and then on top of that I'm just adding some colors. On the first piece I'm adding cold colors and on the second one I will be adding some warm colors. Now this is a brand new dilution spray that I've never used before and it needed a bit of twisting before the ink uh, came out. I'm dapping the excess ink away and then I'm drying everything to see if it looks like the way I want it to see. And that's when I realized I didn't have enough warm colors so I'm adding some more, though that purple is limit warm color could be considered cold color and then i'm drying everything again this will only be an embellishment um, in the finished r channel piece and then i'm adding some green as well um, on that corner once everything is really dried i'm cutting everything in little pieces and i'm not going to show you how i did cut everything but as you can see, I'm ending with little squares of different sizes. On my background paper, I'm stamping with VersaFine ink. And this is a smoky gray one, which I really like because it gives a very soft uh, gray stamping. And the words that I'm stamping are going from one word to another. But in the end, it should mean that hope become, becomes dreams but I had to leave out the S from becomes. And all the products that I'm using um, are listed on my blog. So if you want to know which alphabet this is, check out my blog and you will find a complete list over there. Making sure that this is completely dry and then I'm going back in with dilutions. This is the white linen one. I'm spraying some in a little um, jar and before I use it on my paper, I adding, I'm adding some more water on my paper. And then I'm gradually adding some gray slate dilutions to my white. So again, gray. And then back on my paper on which I added more water to make sure that everything would blend nicely. And then at the bottom of my spread, I'm adding black marble to make sure that my gradient is really going from a light to a dark. Now I had some splatters from spraying in my little jar, but that's okay. I just sprayed some more water over it and they're gone. I really like dilutions. You can do so much with them. They're very versatile. Now, before I'm um, dabbing the excess ink away, I'm drying it because I really want that color to stay on my paper. I didn't tape how I sewed my paper and how I puzzled my pieces on uh, the sewing, but you get the image. I just sewed some, some wavings over the words and then I uh, used some of the strips of paper that I colorized. So I'm adding just a tiny bit of Distress Ink, Black Soot Distress Ink on the edges of my little squares and then I'm gluing them on the sewing. And I'm also adding a bit of um, distressed ink on the bottom of my page. This is the black soot one and on all the edges. Stamping my birdie stamp. This is a um, stamp boutique stamp. Um, again, on watercolor paper. And I'm going to use the dilutions ink to colorize it. I'm using um, a water brush. So it has a little container in which you can put water. And this will help me to blend those colors nicely.
I'm adding some more um, distress ink on the edges of my bird and then I'm stamping using a um, stamp positioner to make sure that I'm stamping where I want to stamp. If you'd like to know how to use a stamp positioner, you can check out my channel on YouTube where I have um, a tutorial on this one. And then I just have to glue um, the body of the bird on top of his legs. To make him pop a bit more, I'm adding a thin layer of glimmer glaze. Now using the dilutions again, I'm adding splatters as well of the um, uh, dilutions as of water. The new poll for next week's video will be up on my blog, so don't forget to vote. And don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. Thank you! Of course, I had to add it some metal. And this was about the hardest part <laughs> to get that um, in place. And this is where you can really see the, the, the waves that I've added um, sewing the paper. I want to make sure my sewing will stay in place, so on the back side I'm adding uh, masking tape alongside the line where I will be cutting my paper in two so that I can glue it down in my art channel. And silly me forgot to add masking tape at the top and bottom of my spread, so I had to add a little bit of glimmer glaze to make sure the thread would stay there and not go further. Um, coming out of the paper. That's it for today. I hope you liked this little dilutions video. See you back next week. Have a happy one. Ta-da!